so today our chapter name is bill wise details ma okay so what is bill wise details why we are using that one we want to learn ma okay so this bill wise details is important actually every company people they are using ma okay so daily we are doing transaction no credit purchases credit sales we are doing daily in a company yes uh, so see ma uh, when credit purchases credit uh, sales we are doing but uh, we want to find the outstanding balances no ma how much bills okay. payables outstanding we have how much bills payables outstanding we have we want to know that and all details and that purpose okay. we are using bill wise details ma okay bill wise details is used to know about party outstanding details okay so we are called different types of names for this one ma accounts receivables okay. and payables bills receivables and payables outstanding okay. reports how to find out a to r accounts and a to p accounts okay this like we are called different types of names ma okay in interviews also so they are asking actually uh, so like uh, what is uh, a to r accounts what is a to p accounts that like they are asking ma okay so some uh, company people separately they are asking accounts receivable accounts accounts payables accounts that like also okay so now what is this one what we have already we are uh, we know this one so first of all bill wise details when we are using we know so there are four types of bill wise details we are having ma first okay. one is new reference at the time of sales and purchase invoice we are creating no on that time we are selecting new reference ma okay again is reference when we are using at the time of cash and bank received payment voucher ma okay receipt voucher when we are preparing receipt vouchers and payment vouchers in a tally on that time we are selecting again as reference ma okay see we are purchasing goods again as to that bill we are paying payment no yes yes on that time we are selecting payment again as reference okay at the same time we are selling goods again as to that uh, sold goods that sales bills again asli we are receiving amount no on that time we are uh, selecting again as reference ma okay only on the time of receipt and payment vouchers we are preparing no on that time we are selecting again as references ma okay so when we are using advance reference we are receiving cash advance we are paying cash advance on that time we are uh, using advance reference ma okay advance amount we are receiving at the same time we are paying advance amount no yes on that time we are selecting advance ma okay next show on account ma at the time of interest charged at the time of interest charged we are using on account ma okay for example you don't want to use oh, new reference again as reference that and all on that time also we are selecting on account ma. okay okay for example see here some examples i mentioned already we know this one how to prepare purchase sales receipt and payment already we know yes so but how to apply this references we want to learn ma okay first one sold goods to ravi rupees 15000 ma okay at the same time we are receiving cash from ravi 10000 ma okay goods sold to ravi 10000 received cash 20000 now okay at the same time again on june month we sold goods to ravi interest charged for ravi 500 ma okay at the same time same purchases also we have ma for example okay. purchase goods from anu traders credit okay okay for rupees uh, so like 7000 rupees okay. okay so at the same time second one paid cash rupees 5000 to anu traders again what we done again we are purchased goods ma 
Okay. Purchased goods from Anu Traders. So for rupees ten thousand one. Okay. So this is for example. So first to five two thousand twenty one. This is a second five two thousand twenty one ma. Okay. Amount received from first to May two thousand twenty one. Okay, like this ma. Okay. Now how to do this transactions? I am explaining ma. For example, advance also I am receiving ma. Advance cash, advance cash received from received from Ravi ma. Okay. So Ravi rupees fifteen thousand. So now how to do these transactions? We want to learn. See, I am going to here tally time. First of all. This F eleven futures by default. So, so first of all, this F eleven futures we are enabled or not? We want to check ma. Okay. You can press F eleven futures ma. Here okay. second option ma. Second option C enable bill wise entry. You can set yes ma. Okay. So now you can save it. Control S ma. Okay. You can save the screen. Control A ma. Sorry, not control S. Control A ma. And yes. Uh, we saved that one now. Now, first of all, we want to create a invoices means we want to create a ledgers, no ma? Yes. Ledgers to create ma. What ledgers we have? Okay. Purchase and sales already we have. Ravi, I am creating yes. now. We are selling okay. goods to Ravi, no? Yes. Ravi, he is a Sunday creditor, no ma? See yes. ma. Here one option it is showing maintain balances bill by bill. We want to set yes here ma. Okay. Default credit periods not required to enter. This option okay. also be not required to activate ma. Okay. Just enter and save it ma. Next okay. two, we are purchasing goods from Anu Anu Traders. Okay. This like even you are creating sundry data and credit card names on the time you want to set as per bill wise details ma. Otherwise it's not working ma. Okay. Okay, we are completed this one. Now you can go to vouchers, ma. Okay. First, we want to prepare purchase voucher, ma. Yes. Ah, uh, so I am changing the voucher mode. Accounting invoice I am selecting. Invoice okay. number, party name, ma. We are okay. purchasing from Anu Traders, ma. Yes. You can save this one. Control Y. You can save this one. Under particulars, purchase, ma. Hmm. So we are purchasing from how much amount in a, in our example we have no seven thousand seven thousand ah yes ma correct first bill seven thousand rupees ah. so enter here see automatically it is showing no references and all it is showing ma yes, yes. now we want to select new reference. Number okay. also we are not required to giving ma automatically it is selecting ma. Okay. So just to enter you can save the screen ma. Okay. Next to one more purchase also we have on the date of second day ma. So for same customer same supplier no. Yes. So control A control A. So here purchase account too. So we are purchasing now how much rupees? Second purchases. Fifteen thousand rupees, ten thousand rupees. Oh, okay. Ten thousand rupees. Now amount I am updating. Enter. You can save the screen. Ma, new reference. Oh, enter. Okay. You can save the screen. Ma. Okay. So two purchases we are updated. Next, and the name yes. of Anu Traders. Any we have? Yeah, we paid cash. No. We yes, paid yes. cash. So payment voucher we want to prepare. So see okay. now I am receiving payment. I am selecting ma. Okay. Uh, so now we are paying cash, no? Uh, so on which yes, date sir. you are paying, you can select it. Anu traders, so. See, now automatically yes. again as reference, we want to select them. Okay. See, on the name of Anu traders, so two purchase bills we have. Yes. On which bill again as you are paying payment, that bill you want to select it, ma. Okay. First one I am selecting, 5,000 rupees I am paying, ma. 
Okay. So you understood now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now enter. You can save it. Okay. okay. We done with this one. Next to sales, we are doing, ma'am. Yes. So we are sold goods to whom, Ravi? Ravi. Uh, yes. So control A. So control A. Here under particular so sales, you can select it, ma'am. So first yes. to we are sold for how much rupees? We want to yeah check it, ma'am. First to pay okay. fifteen thousand rupees, ma'am. Okay. Date I am changing first May. Yes, yes. I am sold goods on first May date, fifteen thousand rupees. Okay. Sales, enter. Here new reference, ma'am. Okay. New reference. Next show one more bills also we have here. Uh, so sold goods to Ravi, ten thousand rupees again. Okay. Second May, sold goods to Ravi. So here sales, so ten thousand rupees. Okay. Enter, you can save it. A new reference one. Okay. So next to again we have, uh, so sold goods to Ravi rupees twenty five thousand ma. Okay. Sold goods to Ravi rupees twenty five thousand. New reference, so under you can save it. Okay. So next two, so we are done with this and all. Now I am receiving amount. Yes, okay. So I am receiving amount from Ravi. Now again as reference, ma. Three bills okay. we have. Which bill again as we are receiving amount first you want to select it. Ma. Okay. First bill again as I am receiving amount rupees 10,000. Okay. So enter. Now here you are receiving cash or check, you can select it, enter, you can save it. Ma. Okay. So again, one more, <coughs> uh, one more time I am receiving the amount. So from Ravi, again is reference. Now total amount 20,000 I am receiving. Ma. Okay. First bill again is 5,000. Now again, again is reference. Second bill again is 10,000. Now again, okay. again is reference. So now this bill again actually 5,000 ma. Okay. Total 20,000 I am receiving ma now. Okay. So this like also it is possible to adjust in ma. Okay. Enter you can save it ma. Okay. Now for example I am receiving advance from others ma. Okay. I am creating suppose David and Co. David and Company. I am receiving advance for this first. Uh, so this uh, uh, customer ma. Okay. Now we are receiving advance. No, I am I am entering new reference only ma. Okay. So I am receiving advance six thousand rupees ma. Okay. Enter. You can save it ma. Okay. Now we will go through how to view the like like this daily we are doing no purchase and yes, sale transactions all transactions daily we are doing like this ma. Yes. Now we want to find out a outstanding reports. How much bills okay. payable spending we have? How much bills payable spending we have? Total reports I want to find it. Okay. Otherwise, ledger wise also I want to find it. How to view the reports, ma? Okay. You can go to display more reports. Okay. Here you can select it statement of accounts, ma. Okay. Statement of accounts under here you can select it outstanding, ma. Okay, ma'am. Under outstandings, we have receivables and payables. Separately, we have no receivables report. Separately, we have payables. We have ledger wise. We have group wise. We have ma. First, I am selecting receivables. Ma. See, okay. Only one percent Ravi it is showing. How much pending amount we have? Twenty thousand we have. I am giving enter. See total yes, sales so thirty thousand ma. Okay. See, sorry, total sales 25,000. We received yes, 5,000. Remaining 20,000 we have pending. Ma. Okay. Correctly, it is showing, you know? Yes, ma'am. So, on that purpose only, we are using this one. Next to payables, ma. See, okay. payables 3, it is showing, ma. Anu traders 2. Total pending 80,000 we have. 18,000. Yes. Uh, David and 6,000. Anu traders 12,000, yes. ma. Okay. See now give enter. See total purchase seven thousand. 
we paid 5000 or remaining 2000 pending we have okay correctly it is showing now yes ma'am uh, next to this one also anu traders so 10000 so this david and yes. we received amount ma actually okay so we received advance amount against that one we are not sold goods no that's why we want to pay that amount okay okay next to see okay. here ledger wise i am showing suppose anu traders only i am selecting see okay. and the name of anu traders how much opening amount we have how much pending amount we have okay so so see periodical wise also it is possible to view ma here you can click it period so monthly wise or quarterly wise also it is possible to view the reports now. okay suppose uh, other ledger also you want to select means here only button bar ledger you can select it ma suppose yes. see here all ledgers it is showing ma so we are applied for uh, bill wise details for some ledgers so some ledgers we are not applied no yes yes that one also it is showing here no so like uh, kiran technologies also it is showing yes so now Tata Motors also it is showing. Yes. Now I am selecting Ravi. Yes, so next one. So group wise means Sunday data and credit also. Here total Sunday credit and Sunday data both it is showing. See total okay. Sunday credit balance how much we have. Okay. So total Sunday debit how much we have. Yes, yes. Okay, this is what is bill wise details. Uh, so how we are using that one, how to view outstanding reports, ledger wise, group wise. So I mean, a receivables, payables and all. Okay. So for example, now here I am going to watch uh, so. So I am paying amount to Anu traders now. Okay. Again, as reference, so first to 2000 pending we have now, I am paying that one now. now. Okay. So you enter, you can save it too okay uh, so now we are received advance for uh, that uh, david and kono yes yes again as to that advance i am selling goods now ma okay okay so now i am selecting that uh, david and company so now you can save it control a now here under particular so sales you can select it ma okay so now so i am paying uh, i am selling goods now uh, rupees six thousand rupees ma Okay. Now we enter. Now we want to select again as reference, not new reference. Why? Because means already we received advance. So we want to adjust that to two, no? Yes, ma'am. That's why, ma'am. Okay. okay. Now again, I will okay. check the reports. Ma. Okay. Display more reports. So. Statement of accounts. So. Outstanding. So. Receivables I am checking. See, receivables okay. for Ravi, 20,000 we have pending. Yes, yes. Payables, I am going. See, for Anu traders, only one bill, 10,000 we have. Yes. Uh, that 2,000, it is not showing. That uh, David and company also, it is not showing. Yes, yes. So, this like, ma. So, what is the total bill value? How much we received? How much we paid? How much outstandings we have? Clearly, it is showing reports here, ma. Okay, ma. So, now you understood the bill wise details, no? Yes, yes. Okay, ma. Okay, fine. So next to chapter, I am explaining.